Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, representing ppccourse.com, and I want to talk about some ad copywriting tips that you might be able to use in your own PPC ads. And the question is whether or not you should show pricing in your PPC ads or not. Whether you should tell somebody the price as to what something costs and whether that works for you or it doesn't. So should you put pricing into your ads? Should you not? Or should you test it and see what the test results give you? So watch along and we're going to talk about some AdWords copywriting tips. Let's talk about AdWords copywriting and specifically, should you show prices in your text ads? Now we all know how Google AdWords works, right? You can show up in Google search results for free, but whenever somebody clicks on your ads, you pay money to Google. Now hence the name pay per click advertising. Now this may sound patronizing, like a way for me to introduce this to you. You probably already know that. But I'm going to go somewhere with this. I swear that I am. Now, since you pay Google per click, things can get really expensive if you pay for a lot of clicks. And you may find that your budget goes further by not getting clicks. So you might actually decide, hey, I'm not going to go after clicks. I'm going to try to get fewer clicks because then my budget lasts longer. And with that knowledge in mind, I'm going to tell you a tale of two different AdWords copywriting techniques. In the first example, I'm going to talk about how you might choose to hook somebody into your course. We wrote an ad where we are trying to hook somebody in with an offer of something that's free. Now, generally speaking, if you put free in a headline and a subject line on an email, if you put free anywhere, it's been proven time and time again that more people will click on it. More people are interested in something that's free as opposed to something that costs money. So here's one example where we put free into an ad and that may at least from the experience of myself and from many, many marketers over the course of the years, over the course of hundreds of years, free will probably get a pretty good reaction. Now, on the other hand, here's a similar ad, but I changed headline two to say, get AdWords certified for $497. And I put the price in the text ad. And as you can probably imagine, if you see that price, it might scare some people away, but maybe that's by design. Maybe we don't want to pay for clicks unless somebody knows that this costs $497. They have an idea as to what they're getting into before they click. And it could be a better strategy. It could actually result in fewer clicks and still get the same number of conversions you're looking for because the people who click on it, they know what they're getting into. At least that's the theory. Now you might be asking yourself, which one of these things is better? And the answer is that I don't know because it's a numbers game. You really need to look at how this impacts your results to decide if this is a good idea or not. So let's look through some theoretical results. Now I have two ads, ad one and ad two. And ad one brought in 100 clicks and it was $1.64 on average per click. Ad two, 20 clicks only came in, but we paid a lot more per click, $2.55. And we spent $51 on that one. Now, if you were to look at this from a pure click perspective, which is the paradigm that Google teaches us, the paradigm that Google wants us to look at, this one is performing better. The $1.64 per click is better because you got 100 clicks and you got 164, so you're paying much less per click than ad number two. But what about when you add in conversions? Now, let's say that the first ad got five conversions and the second ad got four conversions, even though we spent way less on clicks. Obviously, in this case, the second ad would be the winner because we got a lower cost per conversion. And I would encourage you, especially if you're interested in becoming really strong at PPC, to always look at things from a cost per conversion perspective as opposed to cost per click. And so this one is much more effective, as you can see here, because we're paying almost one third the price per conversion. And yes, we lost one conversion, but we are paying a much better conversion rate and we're spending a lot less money in order to get there. So by most ways of looking at things, ad number two is the better performer. And why is that? It's because ad number two, in this case, is focused on the right people. We're getting way fewer clicks. We got 20 clicks as opposed to 100, but we still have a strong conversion rate. And actually our conversion rate is much higher when we just go after the clicks that are the right people. And even with fewer clicks, it only has one less conversion and it eliminated 80% of the unnecessary clicks, which is awesome. We 80 20 this approach by choosing to get less clicks and only focus on the clicks that were effective. 
But does this technique really work? I only showed you theoretical results and your mileage may vary. You might experience completely different results. An analytics course student, Shannon, says, if one is selling an expensive product, do you put the price in the ad? This is something we talk about in PPC course. And then he wonders, will this not considerably affect your click-through rate and therefore have a knock-on effect on the ad being shown at the top because you have a lower quality score? Is this not very likely going to produce a poor result for a keyword and ultimately the campaign? So great question. It's a counterpoint to what I just put out there. Will your results suffer if you put the price in the ad, if you have a lower click-through rate? And I'm going to try to answer that question for you right now. So yes, inserting prices in ads can eliminate unnecessary clicks, but it can also lower your quality score. There's a very high likelihood that it will lower your quality score, which lowers your ad rank. And most of us are familiar with how ad rank works, but if not, here's a little refresher. Bids don't impact your results, ad rank does. So you take your bid, you multiply it by your quality score, and then the format impact, which is which extensions you're using on your campaign, for example, site link extensions, and then it gives you your ad rank. And so in this case, somebody who's willing to pay $2, who has a high quality keyword and ad combination and uses all the different formats like site links, they're gonna actually show up higher in search results. So you can bid lower, have higher quality, and get up there higher, get higher click-through rates, and just get more clicks overall. So it's the basically the exact counterpoint to the argument of putting your price in the ads. So as you can see here, we have two forces that are at conflict with each other, and we need to decide which one is better. Or we need to develop a framework to evaluate that choice on our own. Because beyond AdWords copywriting tactics, there are two forces at work, quality scores and ad rank. And there's a catch-22 that arises. If you actively try to get less clicks, you'll pay more per click. And then the question is, how will this affect your bottom line? You need to test that. You need to test the effects. So here's some more theoretical examples. And I stress this importantly, even though I showed you some ad ideas, those are not the results from those ads. These are not my real results. These are theoretical. Now let's say we have keyword one and keyword two, and we're keeping that $164 cost on top. And now we've incorporated quality score in here to say, what is the impact of quality score on cost per click and on overall conversions? So everything else is the same. We've added a quality score and then we've adjusted the cost per click for keyword number two accordingly because that's how quality scores work. And that is because quality scores have an impact on the discount of your bid. So if you have a five quality score, you're basically breaking even. And then if you have any quality score from a seven to a 10, your quality score discounts your cost per click. And then from a six to a one, Google will increase your click costs according to your quality score. So you want to have those seven to 10 range quality scores in order to get the best results. And this one, we just compared a 10 versus an eight. And as you can see, it didn't really impact things very much. But what if we do a comparison between a 10 and a five? How does this look? Well, again, if we have a five quality score, even though we're paying double per click, we're paying $3.28 a click as opposed to $1.64 per click, our cost goes up for keyword number two, our quality score is down, yet cost per conversion is still better. It's basically half the conversion cost from one to the other as a result of trying this new method. And I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty good to me. Writing a ad that discourages clicks, as long as it puts your quality score at a five or higher, still makes you more profitable by going after and eliminating profitable clicks in this scenario. At a three quality score, believe it or not, you're still more profitable employing this method, assuming that you're getting rid of 80% of your clicks as a result of this copywriting tactic. Now it's debatable whether or not you're gonna be able to get rid of 80% of your clicks by just putting the price in the ad, but this is an extreme case that could still be valuable even down to a quality score three. It takes until quality score two which is the bottom of the barrel, which is very inefficient and something that you probably won't even see in your account very often in order for this cost per conversion to go up. So in theory, you could go after high converting clicks and you would make a killing. Your AdWords account could be more efficient overnight in this theory. And you can become more efficient as long as your quality score doesn't dip too low. So these things are inversely proportionate. The lower your quality score, the higher your cost per conversion goes in this particular theoretical example. But I want to give you a counterpoint so you don't read into this and say, Jeff is saying you should always do this in your ad copy. 
My answer is always that you should test it. But here's a counterpoint to see where this could break down. So if we look at our example where we have a quality score of 10 versus a quality score of eight, and now we're only reducing clicks by 20% by putting the number in the ad, which is a pretty realistic number because sometimes, believe it or not, people still click on your ad even if you put the price in there because for some reason either there's click fraud, which is a maybe one or 2% of the ads, or people just don't read the ad at all and they just click on the first thing they see or for whatever reason. But you do end up paying to Google more than you'd think, even if you put something in your text ad that's very targeted. And so in this case, notice here, even with a quality score of eight, which is not that far off from a 10, if we do 80% of the clicks instead of only 20% of the clicks, this cost per conversion for keyword one looks better. It looks much better. And then if you have to worry about quality scores going down to five or three, then it's night and day, the difference between them. So here's an example and a counterpoint to say, it's very possible that your results will not be nearly as good as you hope for. And so you need to test these scenarios to know what the answer is, to know what the best answer is. And my key takeaway from this lesson is AdWords copywriting can impact your results. Conduct your own experiments early and do them often. Understand how to read the results appropriately. Determine which test is the winner. Implement the best performing strategy back into your campaign. And then number six, do it again. Develop your next experiment. PPC optimization is continuous, something that you do over and over again. In ad copy, it's just one of those many tests that you should be doing. It's an ongoing process. It never really stops. You're always competing against the marketplace. You're always competing against Google trying to get more money from you. Ad copy is something you can test. You can really test anything in your account and you can be much more efficient as a result of it. And that's what we teach inside a PPC course. So if you love the strategy behind AdWords and learning how to make everything more effective, you should subscribe to our PPC course newsletter at ppccourse.com.